What if you could generate and clone studio quality voices absolutely for free on your computer? Well, in this video, I'm going to run through exactly how we can do that using a voice model called Dia. We're going to be running through how to use it with an easy no code web UI. We're also going to show you how to use it with a HTTP request API request. And we're going to show you how to get it all installed locally. So all you need to do is run it with Python and it will be ready to go. Whether you're a content creator, just curious, this is a total game changer for the world of AI voices. First things first, let's go into a couple of quick comparisons between how Dia performs and how some of the other ones perform. Have you cleaned the kitchen yet? I am an AI, not your flatmate. Have you cleaned the kitchen yet? I'm an AI, not your flatmate. Have you cleaned the kitchen yet? I'm an AI, not your flatmate. Have you cleaned the kitchen yet? I'm an AI, not your flatmate. Have you cleaned the kitchen yet? I'm an AI, not your flatmate. Great, so now if we want to get it all set up using that first easy to use no code interface, we're gonna be coming across to Hugging Face. I'll include the link below and everything's gonna be in our resources as well. Make sure to come across to Dia here. We're gonna click into this. As you can see here, it's gonna open up our easy to use interface. Now I'm using the free version for now, just to show you. So we're running on zero. You're gonna be able to get a good couple of requests out of this before you need to go to a paid version. If you need to go up to a paid version, that's where you're gonna to need to go to like this $9 per month. If you want to use it this way, again, installing it locally is gonna be that free version, which is later on in the video. So for example here, all we need to do is get rid of this paste what we want in there we can also change some of the parameters so as you can see here there's areas around the new max tokens so remember around 100 tokens is around 75 words so we're just going to limit the number of generations that come out the back the length of that generation sorry we've got the cfg scale so how closely it's going to follow the original text prompt we gave it which is these points up here We've also got the temperature, so again, how standardized that tonality is going to be. The higher the value of the voices, the more varied they're going to be in how they sound. We've also got the top P for the vocabulary, how it comes out. That's not too much important. The CFG filter scale, and we've got the speed factor. So down here, this is how fast they're going to speak in the output. We can turn this all the way up, which we'll show you a bit later on. But for now, let's just do generate audio and we're going to see how it's going to come through. You'll see on the top right hand side here, it's going to tell us how long it's going to take to generate each of these requests. So we'll just wait for it to come back. Here we go. So let's listen to the first one. You look different. Glow up? I switched to our AI personalized skincare routine. Wait, our AI? Yep. Built it last Diet week. Diet level yeah. smooth. Exactly. <laughs> So as you can see, they're able to have the two voices. It sounds like they're talking quite fast, so we'll probably bring down that rating. But let's go through, and we're going to give it another example. So we're going to put our different prompt in here. Let's come down, and we'll slow it down a bit. So maybe we'll bring this down to where we've got 0.8. There we go. Then we'll be able to come up to the top here. Maybe we want to increase some of the randomness. So we'll change it up to here to maybe 1.4. We'll bring up some of this CFG maybe, see how that affects it. And now we can do generate audio again, and we'll see how it comes back. Again, this is totally free for the majority of the requests that you'll be able to do. Just keep an eye up the top here around your limitations. So as you can see here, we're going through and using it. It just depends on what you're able to do as part of your free account. Let's listen to the second one here. Don't talk to me. You haven't had coffee yet? I haven't even opened my eyes properly. You just spoke. Daya helped. So there we go. As we can see, it sounded like it was a bit, a little bit confused around what sips means at the end, and we're able to go through and just change the quality of it as we go through. Now this is that first easy version around using no code whatsoever, just through the interface. If you want to take this to the next level and use it through APIs, that's what we're going to be running through now with our quick AI generator for around replicate and being able to generate it quickly. So as we can see here, we're able to send a request off. We can say that maybe it's two gamers discussing how amazing one of the new games is at midnight. We can say that it's going to be, I don't know, professional, and we could submit the request. We're going to have our AI automatically go through and generate a request for us. We're then going to be able to come out of here. We're going to send that request off to replicate. 
and if we come across as we can see here it's a cold model so it's going to take a little while for it to get started you can change exactly the same features around temperature top p speed and much more and if you look at the time and cost we're looking at 0 0.078 dollars to be able to replicate or around 12 runs is around a dollar again we're still not at the free version that's if we host it locally we'll come back across them we'll see that it's still generating the request for us if we come into here we'll see that we've passed our version id and we've passed that actual text that we've generated with our ai agent across and one of the features i love about na10 on the right hand side we can see exactly what that was so now if we come back we'll see that we've got that wav file returned i.e the actual file that we can use so if we come out of here we see get a file we'll hear exactly what it sounds like now have you tried the latest release from arcadia studios the graphics and storyline are insane like they really push the boundaries this time absolutely the gameplay mechanics feel so smooth and intuitive it's rare to see a game that's both challenging and accessible at the same time and the world building every detail seems meticulously crafted making the experience truly immersive yeah it's one of those titles that stays with you long after you log off perfect way to spend those late night gaming sessions now if you want to take this even further and run it for free absolutely locally on your computer that's where we're going to be running across to hugging face and following some of the steps in here and i've got some all ready to go in our instructions a bit further as well now this is going to sound a little bit more complicated but we've got it broken down into nice and easy steps they're all in the community so again you'll get access to this for free as part of your seven day free trial come into classrooms we're looking at local ai and then as you can see here open source crushes 11 labs we'll come down here we've covered the one here around the easiest version as well as the medium version for replicate and now we're going to that complex version with python so first things first we're going to need to install homebrew this just puts it all into a one repository around python and much more so it helps keep control of everything we're installing and using we're going to come across to their main website you'll see here that it's got install homebrew we're going to copy this we're then going to need to open our terminal there we go we're going to paste that command in there and then press enter now it's going to go off and do everything once we give it the password because it's going to be installing all of the different areas we're going to say return ok so now it's going to go off and start adding all of the different paths for us it's downloading and installing all of the different elements we need this makes it so much easier just for controlling all of the different parts that we need in the future as well as importing some of the commands as you can see here it's now all successfully installed in the same time that it took me to finish that sentence we're going to come back across it we'll see that we've got this brew install here and this is going to be so we can use python which is one of the coding languages out there to be able to run this and get the output we need so first things first we're going to copy brew install we're going to come back to our terminal there we go we're going to paste that prompt in there this is going to go through and be able to install the python for us so that we're able to use it to generate the voices in a little bit we're just going to wait for this to come back make sure it's all installed and ready to go as you can see they're almost finishing up now then we're going to go through and do the next phase so we're going to get these echo then we're going to paste that in there this will all be ready to go then we're going to come through and do the next part we'll send that off this should make sure we're all ready to go this is just around some of the virtual environment we're going to be using and then we're going to do the last part here which is just installing the specific version we need which is python 3.10 the next part we're going to come down and install here this is going to enable us to be able to export the audio there we go we'll send this off it's going to go through and do it for us all automatically it looks like it's already installed actually so it's updated and ready to go now we're going to just double check the version that we're on so as we can see here we'll send this command off and it's confirmed that we're on that right version that we need to be able to generate the outputs that we want according to the documentation at the moment one of the great things about this is if we come back here they've got on there to do in the future they're going to be doing docker support so this will make it nice and easy to use like with na10 and host it locally in our models in the future we're going to come back across there to our command and now we're going to come through we're going to copy this to create and activate a new environment so we'll copy and then paste in here we're going to send this off this is going to generate that new environment for us to be able to use the next part we're going to come down and install it directly from github so if we come across here actually come across to github here i'll include the link below so you can see it as you can see here the python version that's just going to call out 3.10 so we are on the right version and if we come a bit further down here we'll see all of the commands 
And all we're doing is being able to use this now in our environment that we've set up. So we're going to come back across. We're then going to do our command in here. So we're installing it for us to be able to use in our environment. So as we can see here, it's going to go through, take a little while to do it. And then we'll be able to make sure that we've got all of the dependencies and everything we need to be able to have it running locally. So there we go. We've made sure that we've got everything installed, as you can see here. So now we're all good to go. The next part, we're going to need to actually do some updates. So as we can see here, we're going to need to import our hugging face token. So you want to come back across to hugging face. There'll be an area here called access tokens. You can find it by coming up to the top, coming down to access tokens and then generating one. We're going to do create a new token. We're going to call it dear. We're then going to change it to have a reads token. We're going to copy this. We'll come back into our terminal. We're then going to remove where it says your token here, just so that we can make sure that we've got our actual token in there ready to go. So we'll do paste. We're then going to send this off. This is going to store it for us to be able to use. We're going to come back across here. And then we've got two last parts, which is now importing Dia directly. We're using the Mac one here, but in the GitHub, they've also got the version for both non-Mac and Mac as well. So now I'm going to say, Python, this is going to open it up for us ready to go. We're then going to copy our command in here. We're then come back across. We're going to paste it in here. We're going to say enter. This is just installing our local version of Dia to be able to use it. So as we can see here, Dia is going to be 1.64 gigabytes. So we've just got to wait for that to come back. So we're almost done. We should be getting it back any second now. And as we can see here in this step, we were able to install Dia locally. That's 6.4 gigabytes. And we should be able to get that audio back. So as we can see here, it's now starting to go through and generate our loop for that specific text. So as we can see here, it's now going through step by step. We cover that more in our AI generation class around what steps are and how it improves the outputs over time. So there we go. As we can see, we've now got that output back. We'll say it post up front in there. This is going to save it for us. Then all we need to do is come across for the next command in, which is going to be to play the output so we'll do that now i forgot to do a step before so we're just going to edit that and then what we're going to need to do is open a new chat here as you can see paste our command in there and then we should be able to open it up and play it so now if i pull it across from the left hand side here we'll be able to hear it once it's all loaded up now i'm using the m1 macbook pro so just keep that in mind for the power that we've got here versus some of the more later and great ones which can help you get that generation a bit quicker Hello from your local Dyer install. As you can see there, able to hear it straight away, all running locally, and that's all going to be done for free now that you've got it installed locally. If you want to be able to do another example, let's do that now just so you can see how we start it from scratch. So now if we want to do another one, we're going to come through and add this command in here. This is just going to spin up our virtual environment for us to be able to use. We're then going to enter Python just to make sure that we're able to use this. Noting that we've got version 3.10 for us to be able to use this request. We're then going to type in the next command here, which is just around imports and dear, so that we can go through and get the outputs we want. There we go. We're now all loaded up. So now we can do another text in there. For example, have you seen a clean kitchen yet? I'm not your flatmate from AI. So as you can see there, we've got speaker one and speaker two. We'll be able to send this off. And now it the next part here, we just need to tell it to generate that text. So we're going to put this command in here. And now it's going to start generating that loop as we had a little bit before. Noting the one that we did last time, it took a little while because we had 2,580 steps. So just keep an eye on that. Again, depending on how powerful your computer is, depends on how quickly you can get through some of these steps and give you the response that you're looking for. We'll just wait for this to come back and then we'll show you the output again. So there we go, we've gone through and we've saved it as we did before. We've exited and now if we just come out, we've got our Apple Music open in the background. So we're just going to enter here and we'll be able to hear it. So let's do that now. Have you cleaned the kitchen yet? I am an AI, not your flatmate. So as you can hear there, able to get that natural sounding language straight away, absolutely for free, running it on our local computer to think about all of the possibilities that this unlocks and it's so cheap to use. This has just been a video around the open source, but we've got so much more in the community, exclusive content, more templates, more masterclasses around how to do image generation, 
getting into groups with some of the platforms, prompt engineering, and much, much more. If you want to learn more, this is definitely the place to be. Stay tuned for more around AI, automation, and have a great day.